So, after I did this doodle of the zombie hot dog, which went alongside the other zombies that I actually designed before, it was time to put the line work down on this canvas. Just using a pencil to get the guidelines down to make sure that when I come to paint, everything is where it needs to be. This is the same technique I was using for my previous zombie paintings that you can also see on my channel. Now because of the previous paintings, I'd actually become a bit more efficient in the way that I painted these. With base colours first, then shading, then outlining and then highlighting out after. So here I am just putting the base colours down for this painting. A lot of the colours I actually decide whilst I'm painting it, often requiring me to mix the paint to get the desired colour that I want for the painting. And that goes for the shading as well because it needs to be a darker tone of the base colour itself. But I also have to be careful of the colours that I'm choosing, with the background being the blue that you will see later on, using the same blue colour will make it merge, so I've chosen foods and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't blend in altogether. So after the base colours and the shading was down, it was time to get the background in place, using the same colours that I've been using before out of the one pot. This makes sure that the colours are consistent throughout the series as well as it gives me a nice solid colour, especially if I run out of paint. That's fine with the shading because I'm only making small batches of colour, but for large areas like the background and the sides, it's better to use the colours straight out of the pot. Now for the outlining, I actually like to do it by brush rather than by like a marker or a pen to give me better control over the outline's thickness. You'll see this more so around the mouth, as well as the eyes with the bags underneath it. The benefit of also using a brush over a marker is that with a brush you can actually get a lot thinner than what a brush, sorry, a pen would normally do, as it would normally require a different width pen in order to get the desired thickness. Also with the outlining it was time to get the details in, like the shoelaces. Now with these highlights on this, I actually went a bit different compared to before. I kind of uh, developed the style as I went along. The, uh, the highlights actually went just for a lighter shade of the base colour as you'll soon see at the end result. So here I am doing the final touches and the signature in bright red Bob Ross style on the bottom with my handle which is all Matt Jazz and my full name which is Matt Smith. Believe it or not when you google Matt Smith you get a bunch of different results for Doctor Who so yeah that's the reason for the all Matt Jazz name. And there we have it. That is the zombie donut painting which I have finally completed the three canvases that I bought originally for this piece. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video is are gonna be as I kind of want to work on more of my animation stuff which is kind of what I do for a living so maybe I'll do something to do with that. But this was a good exercise to make sure I can get videos out on a kind of semi-regular basis. Anyway, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.